Hey guys, uh, tonight it's going to be my long overdue uh, video for the uh, Spatial Audio Calibration Tool Toolkit here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, Jana even uh, put a little thank you note on there for buying it for the first, you know, we were, we were like the early adopters back in, uh, I guess it would have been November through January, and I guess the Blu-rays, they finally were able to release them. I think I got this in February of this year. And so yeah, it's been a long overdue review, and for all of us early adopters, we actually got uh, uh, once we bought the thing, and it was, it was I think I paid ninety dollars or eighty dollars because it was like a you know early adopter fee, so we got a discount. Now it's a hundred bucks to get the disc, and we actually got files. These these weren't the official authored uh, Blu-ray disc yet, but these were like the work in progress. And for me, the work in progress files are good enough and a lot faster to go through than having to pop the disc in and go through the menus and, and all that. Here I've got all the files, it tells me what I need to know. And I just, you know, I love this thing. I mean, for my setup, which is basically what you would call a 5.4 point four setup I guess or in the menus case here for all intents and purposes 5.1.4 so the five is my five bed layer channels right your left center and right and then your rear left your rear right and then of course your four uh, in ceiling speakers and it's the only test disc that'll not only do call outs for all the channels, not just throw pink noise at all the channels, but it'll do full frequency, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz sweeps on every single speaker. And as I'm gonna show you guys later in the video, um, the grills on the Klipsch in ceilings that I bought back from Amazon back in December there, um, both rear speakers had a resonance. I fixed the one and now it seems another one's cropped up on the uh, left uh, rear height channel. I would have never found it without this disc or these files, you know. And not only do you get all your spot testing, it also uh, Chana does a whole bunch of uh, panning tests, right? So that you know everything's realistic, everything just works, and it basically. We'll show you what faults you have in your setup, how, how you're gonna fix them. Luckily, in this room, you know, not to blow my own fart or toot my own horn, I don't need room correction software. You know, I did the room correction with all the treatment, which is the right way to do it. You, DSP is nice when you're stuck in a crappy environment, no argument there, but if you don't need to use that as a crutch, you know, room treatment is definitely the right way to do things. So yeah, um, next part of the video is I'm just gonna briefly flip through the menu. Happy's gonna probably go batshit crazy when I start with the, the, the test tone sweeps. To, and hopefully you guys will be able to hear the same resonance in the rear left uh, Dolby Atmos speaker. And yeah, I mean, what uh, Joe and Tell and Chana Home Theater Dad did, it's, I recently said this on a Facebook post. Um, it's kind of nice to see YouTubers doing a service to the community. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks, right? It seems like it's a lot of money for a fucking Blu-ray, but if you think of the hard work these guys had to do and they financed this thing themselves, right? They did this not to make a shit ton of money or to become millionaires or anything like that. They did this as a service to the community because nobody has a test disc like this nobody so all right guys that's the first part of the video and the next part's going to be showing you guys what's on the menu and then playing through you know ripping through a few uh, setups and i know you won't get the whole surround sound effect on youtube because i'm only using one microphone to record this but it'll just give you an idea what's on there and hopefully if you guys buy this thing after watching this video, I don't get a fucking dime, I don't care, right? I'd rather these guys pocket the money because they should. They put a lot of hard work into this.
All right, guys. Let's let's go through these menus. Uh, so the disc starts out with Chana's intro. Welcome to the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. This track is here for you to set up your volume. I should sound like I am in your room and you should be able to hear my voice clearly. And then it goes through a whole bunch of uh, test tones and things just to make sure that your channels are allocated correctly. Callouts are very cool. So in my case, 5.1.4 Front left Center Front right Surround right Surround left Front height left Front height right Rear height right Rear height left LFB. Another one, and uh, let's go back to the menu here. So yeah, you can have like upwards of nine, I think it's 9.1.4 is the max that it goes out to. And you've got level matching, which is basically like for example here, see how it's got 5.1.6, so that assumes six atmospheres, which I could do with the Onkyo, but in my small room, four in ceiling speakers is enough. Let's hope the dog doesn't go batshit crazy over this. That's kind of cool. Front left. So in this case, obviously I have my little handheld SPL meter, and I've already dialed everything into about 30 dB uh, at a certain given volume, so I know I've got even uh, all the way around. So again, it's just very, very cool, very handy stuff. Much better than the, the crap that comes inside your uh, AVR. Polarity test is awesome, so you can make sure all your speakers are in phase. Front left, center. Front left, front right. So yeah, I mean, these guys really thought of everything. I mean, I, I gotta give them both lots of credit for this. I mean, a lot of hard work, a lot of editing. Again, I'm not going to go through everything, single thing on here. You know, you're just going to have to trust me on that. As you know, the Heresy 4 is only good to about 50 hertz anyways. So yeah, the guys are giving you full, t full test tone sweeps. Again, down to 16 hertz. So re really, really good job. I mean, you know. Tonal balance is another one. Now, for the two-channel stuff, I, I prefer to use Paul McGowan's uh, um, guide to your stereo system or, or whatever. Um, again, 
Yeah, that's again just checking level matching and that with the two left and rights on it should almost sound like it's coming from the center channel if the speakers are set up properly. This is your bed layer. I think. to the part where I found out that I had uh, a resonance in all the object panning is very cool. This is another one that's, they did, again, really, really awesome job. I mean, here you go. Look, for example, this one here. And I'm, I'm the guy sitting in the middle, so right now everything basically went from the center and then worked its way up. And now I'm listening to the height channel moving to the surrounds. Now it's going to go from the surrounds back to the height channel and then back to the point. I don't know the software that they're using, the Dolby Atmos renderer, I'm not familiar with it obviously, but you know, having the visual there just aids in you know, your accuracy as to where everything's supposed to be. In a little bit, I should probably be able to get the front one out, right? Middle height right, rear height left. There we go. That hopefully with this, you guys will be able to hear the resonance. Whatever you do, don't freak out. This is only going to take a second. I'm going to increase the volume a little bit here so you guys can hear the vibration. Oh, shit, that's the left. Fuck that up. Fuck that up. No X. Only gonna take a second for the video. You sleep. All right, let's try that again, guys. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. The resonance is gone. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Now you heard it. that's basically the end of the video hey guys uh, thanks for watching the video um, hopefully you liked it hopefully I didn't ramble on too long you know like subscribe all that good stuff and definitely go to home theater dad's YouTube channel or Joe and tells YouTube channel or the spatial audio calibration test this channel I'll post links on the bottom there for you guys and you know for you home theater guys man it's it's worth the investment Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye.